You can't win the Super Bowl if you don't score. The fewest points scored by one team during the big game, three. The 1971 Dolphins, losers in Super Bowl VI, and the 2018 Rams, which lost Super Bowl 53. The most points a team has scored on Super Sunday, 55, courtesy of the 1990 49ers at Super Bowl 24. And scoring first helps. Teams which put the first points on the scoreboard win the big game 67% of the time. Scoring 30 or more points almost guarantees a win. Those teams are 28 and three. That's the inside scoop on Super Bowl scoring. After winning it all, the next call? It may come from the White House to recognize the world champions. The first Super Bowl winners to be honored by the president? The Steelers in 1980, when President Jimmy Carter waved a terrible towel, part of a ceremony celebrating Pittsburgh also winning the World Series. Honoring the Super Bowl champs at the White House then became an annual tradition during Ronald Reagan's two terms. And that's the beginning of how Super Bowl winners often end up at the White House. The NFL often plays favorites when it comes to where it plays the Super Bowl. Which big cities have hosted the most big games? Coming in at number three, Los Angeles, seven times. At number two, it's New Orleans with 10. And the city which has hosted the most Super Bowls? Miami, 11 times, including Super Bowl 54 in 2020. There's only one current NFL city which has neither hosted a Super Bowl nor had its team play in one, Cleveland. And that's the history of which big cities have hosted the most big games. Two, four, six, eight. Where are all the cheerleaders on this very important date? At Super Bowl 55, cheerleaders won't be on the field due to the NFL's coronavirus protocols, though they can perform within other parts of the stadium. The first Super Sunday to not include cheerleaders at all? Super Bowl 45. Why? Neither team playing, the Steelers nor the Packers, has cheerleading squads. Cheerleaders, a long-standing tradition, missing this year from football's biggest stage. They play to win, but getting paid a little extra isn't bad either. Players on last year's winning Super Bowl team received a bonus of $124,000. The losers, $62,000. Still, the losers of the biggest game of the year earn less than the winners of an exhibition game? The Pro Bowl. Super Bowl bonuses have come a long way from the first Super Bowl. But adjusted for inflation, those first bonuses aren't much different than what players earn today. When it comes to extra money, that's how Super Bowl winners and losers measure up.